Hey brothers and sisters, how y'all doing? I'm here to do a product review on four different products. You know I like to do a lot of my product reviews in fours so that way we can knock a whole bunch of things out. Some of the products I've used completely and some of them I've used mostly. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. The first product is from Eden Body Works and it's called their Coconut Shea All Natural Leave-In Conditioner. The conditioner is white. It is an eight ounce bottle and I got it from Sally's. You can see the conditioner at the bottom right here. The conditioner has a white consistency. It's very creamy and very, very thick. The first three ingredients are water, aloe vera, and coconut oil. The product smells like a light coconut scent. It smells fantastic. I love the way this smells. It's very light coconut scent. I use this product as a leave-in conditioner after washing in my hair and conditioning it, putting it inside, and initially when it goes on the hair, it goes on thick, it goes on creamy, it goes on smooth, it goes on great. And the moisture, um, it really penetrates my hair and moisturizes my hair, but the moisture does not last long enough for me. For me, it only lasted about three to four hours and then my hair was dry again. And when I put it on dry hair, it definitely does, you know, immediately give it that boost of moisture and it feels very good. But then again, it does not last long enough. I also noticed that this product did give me some flakes when I used it under styling products. I tested it out time and time again to make sure that it was this product and I did notice that I would continually get flakes. So unfortunately, I won't be repurchasing this. Um, I will give it three out of five cupcakes. I think it's a good product. I just don't feel like it gives me what it is that I need from my hair texture. Next, I have the famous Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. And this is a 16 ounce bottle. It's very cheap at Trader Joe's. I wanna say it's like five bucks or less. It might be even less than $5. The first three ingredients are water, tea tree oil, and peppermint oil. So those are the first three ingredients. It is a rinse out conditioner and that is exactly how I used it. The smell is very minty. It has a very nice like winter fresh gum minty smell. It smells really good and when you put it on your scalp it feels very 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 minty and um, you can definitely tell there's peppermint and tea tree in it because of the way your scalp feels. I use this as a um, detangler and it worked great for detangling my hair. The slip was fantastic using a white tooth comb. Um, it's a thick conditioner so it really works for um, my 4C hair which is you know very very thick. Here's a conditioner. It's not super thick to where it just like does not move in your hair um, but it's watery enough to be able to use to detangle. As a rinse out conditioner it does moisturize my hair. My hair definitely does feel soft afterwards and it does feel clean because my scalp you can tell it really does invigorate the scalp. So this is something that I will repurchase. I don't use conditioners very much. I'm more into deep conditioners and leave-ins. However, this is something that's a staple product for me and I give it five out of five cupcakes. Up next, I have the Passion Fruit Curl Control Paste and this is a four ounce bottle by Curls. And this is supposed to be sort of like a gel or like an edge tamer. Um, it says it's supposed to smooth and slick down unruly edges, tame frizz and out of control curls. The um, first three ingredients are water, Katerith 25, and PE, PEG 7. And this is like a gel consistency. The smell is really scrumptious. It smells like something really sweet. Um, I can't quite put my finger on it. It's not like a fruity smell, but it's a very sweet scent. And when you take it out of the jar, it looks like this. Um, it does look like a typical edge chaining um, product. It's very thick. So as you know, with my edges, it's a whole nother story for me. And I try and find different products that can control my edges, lay them down, not dry them out, or um, break them off because I already have so many edges issues. So I've used this on my hair time and time again. And initially when it goes on the hair, it goes on very thick, like a wax. It smooths those edges down really, really good. I use a toothbrush just to kind of make sure it's very smooth. And the hair looks good for about two hours. And then for my hair, with my texture, it just kinks right back up. It doesn't kink up and look dry though. It has a sort of oily sort of look. Um, it's not as straight as it was. It's not as uh, perfect. It's still in place and it kind of has like this like shiny oily thing going on. So unfortunately for my hair it didn't work. I've also used it as like a twisting aid. I'm putting it on my two strand twists 
and that didn't work either it did not um, control my frizz and it did not help my hair to stay twisted any better so it's not like a gel this definitely does not work that way I actually have the control paste in my hair right now this is how it looks I think for someone with a finer hair or more loose hair texture this is actually good I can tell this product would work for that hair texture um, my hair is just a little bit too unruly for something like this but it, it smells great I really wanted it to work it just didn't happen to work out for me I will not purchase this again um, but I do give it three out of five cupcakes because I do think that it is a good product lastly I have the Oyen handmade whipped shea and this is supposed to be a whipped shea butter the first three ingredients are unrefined shea butter fruits and coconut oil this is a very um, fluffy sort of texture when you get it um, I'm sorry mine is completely empty here's what it looks like it's very um, it's white it's very very fluffy when you put it on your fingers it melts right in it's sort of oily if you can see some of that oil I'm not sure if you can but it's definitely very oily I got it in the rich almond scent so it definitely has this like I don't know it's I'm not a fan of the scent I'm sorry the rich almonds I thought it would smell a little bit different but to me it smells kind of like wood and I wasn't a huge fan of the scent um, However, when I did use it in my hair, it did give me a very beautiful twist out. Um, I think that the shea butter does a really good job of giving me great definition. So this is a great product. I really like it. I won't purchase it again simply because it was a little pricey for me. Love Oil and Handmade. I think their products are great, but a lot of times for me, they're a little bit on the expensive side. So unless they're having a sale, I probably would not repurchase this. But I think it's a good product. I give it four out of five cupcakes. If you're asking about my hair, um, I have it in sort of like a random hairstyle. It's basically a faux hawk. But what I did was I took the front of my hair and sort of just like let it hang like this. Right now I'm sort of experimenting with my hair, trying to think of some like up to styles for the holidays. I'm just playing around with it, but let me know what y'all think. kind of different I know but just playing around with it let me know your thoughts so that's it for the product review guys if you guys have any questions about these things please let me know 